Yo, what's up guys? Hey, welcome back to the channel. Yo, if y'all new here, give you a little bit of insight of what I do. I've been an x-ray tech for over 12 years. Um, certified in RT, of course, CT. I have my bachelor's in management. Um, and I have other little courses. Uh, oh, if you see my videos, I'm a certified barber, you know what I'm saying? I do a little bit of everything. But um, on this video, I wanna answer questions. And uh, a lot of people don't do this. A lot of people don't answer questions. I get so many, you know, comments on my videos, which I'm grateful for. Thank you for, first of all, thank you guys for watching my channel. I know there's thousands of radiology channels out there that, that you can choose and you probably watch multiple. So if you come here and you watch me, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming here and, and showing me some support, some love, you know what I'm saying? That means a lot to me, thank you. Um, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to like answer questions to the best of my ability for people that need it, okay? So this one right here, um, I think it's I think it's called Stiddy. I think that's what he calls himself on, on YouTube. But this question is, he's 17 years old. He graduated from high school two weeks ago. He's a baby, bro. 17 years old. Can you imagine being 17 again? At least me. Woo, boy, the things I would do differently. But I'm blessed to be where I'm at. I thank God every day for where I'm at, man. And then no, I, I wouldn't go back, man, because if I go back, I wouldn't experience the beautiful things I have now. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes when you say, oh, man, I wish I could go back in time, I'd do something different. You know, at the end of the day, man, we all, we don't have regrets, but we will all go, want to go back one day and be like, hey, man, I wish I'd play basketball in high school, or I wish I went to college to a real university, or I wish I took that chance and, and did something different. We all have those things, right? But at the end of the day, man, you know, God puts you in the path that he wants you, he wants you to, to, to be in, you know? So it's okay to do your research, do everything, have a plan. But sometimes, man, when things happen in life, it's not your plan. It's God's plan. Okay. Anyway, so he's like, I want to get out. I, I want to go into x-ray, but I'm not sure how to get there. So I'm, I'm, I got you, bro. I told you I got you. Right. So listen, this is my opinion. And and this is what I would do if I were you in your shoes at 17 years old, okay? At 17 years old, what I would do is you can go to your state college. Your state college, um, you can get your prerequisites and you can probably take two years to do it, right? When I say prerequisites, every college is different, but you definitely have to take anatomy one with lab, anatomy two with lab, um, algebra, um, probably statistics, um, what else they got? Calcul. No, I don't think you take calculus. Uh, American history, American government, English one, English two, things of that nature, right? Your prereqs. Then you get accepted into the program and it takes two years after that. So you're looking at three and a half, four years if you go straight. So basically you're 17 at 21, 22 years old, you can be a certified radiology tech making good money and off to a good start. Okay. 99% of the time, probably debt free, okay, which is a big thing. Now, you can take the other route, okay, so the other route here in Florida, I don't know where you're from, here in Florida, we have a we have a couple of schools that are private schools, right? So private schools is like here, and I'm like, when I mention schools, I don't want you to think that I'm, I don't want the schools or anybody to think that I'm down talking them, I'm not down talking to schools, I have a lot of respect for, for every education, I went to a private school myself, okay? So I don't have no disrespect to any school. I'm just giving you information and giving you the real deal, okay? So you have Kaiser University in Florida. Um, we have one called Rasmussen. And I think Hodges University, if they're still open. And this is the problem about private schools. And I'm not saying that all of them is gonna happen or it can happen, but the thing with private schools is that they're not accredited by, how can I explain it? They're accredited for you to take your, say you go for two years, say you go to private route, right? Private school route. You're eligible, you're eligible to take the AART and that's what it's called. It's called an AART registry to become a certified technologist, but their credits do not transfer. And that's where it becomes tricky. And that's why I always, especially at your age, bro, um, I will tell you, man, to go to a community college, a state college, because when you get done with x-ray and you want to get your bachelor's degree, your credits from a state college would transfer to any university 
in the state that you're in. So basically, if I went to, if I'm, if I'm your age, right, and I went to um, my state college, I went to, I took all my prerequisites, I got accepted into radiology, I did my radiology program, I took my ART, and then I'm like, you know what, man, I want to go be, I want to get my bachelor's in management, right? You can go to any university, University of Florida, University of Miami, which is expensive, but still university, you can go to it. FIU, FAU, University of Central Florida, University of South Florida, any big major universities, your credits will transfer, okay? Now, if you go the private school route and just throw in the school out there, if you, go to, if you go to Kaiser University, Kaiser's the big one, right? If you go to Kaiser University, you go for two years, you're eligible to take your ART, you got your AART, those credits will not transfer to a University of Florida, University of South Florida, University of Central Florida, and they it doesn't. And I'm keeping it 100, guys. I'm keeping it 100. Those credits do not transfer. I had a comment the other day like, oh, you're wrong. Those credits do transfer. No, they don't. I'm telling you from experience, guys, that a private school, private school credits do not transfer to a state university. Point blank. They don't. So this is how they get you, right? So that, oh, you want to be a teacher in the future. Oh, so not to count, okay, the fact that the private schools are already so expensive. So to break it down for you, right? If you go to a state college, you go to your state college, you do it the traditional route. Prerequisites, uh, do the challenges, get, get it, you know, do because it's not easy to get into a state college program because... There's a lot of people trying to get into it, right? But you compete, you get into your state college. If you have any debt at all from a state college, it'll probably be 5,000 bucks. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. Maybe 5,000. If the most, say 10. Say 10,000 the most. Which, trust me, is nothing. If you go to Kaiser University, Hodges University, Rasmussen University, you are paying... 60 to 70,000 60 to 70,000 dollars for a 2 year degree, okay? Again, I'm not I'm not down talking a private school. I'm just giving you the real deal, homie. You know what I'm saying? I'm letting you know what you're getting yourself into. And then if say you want to get your bachelor, say, "Oh, I really like radiology. I'm going to be a teacher." Or you know what? I don't really like radiology, but I'm making good money, so I'm going to slowly transition out of it and get into something else. Your credits don't transfer, okay? And say they say for some reason you want to get your bachelor's in radiology, which I think is a big waste of time, to be honest. I'm going to keep it 100. If you get your bachelor's in radiology and your credits don't transfer from a Kaiser University, they're going to be like, oh, come back to us because we are, we, of course, you went to our school, so we're going to get your, you know, you're going to, you, your credits are going to transfer here. Get your bachelor's, another 70000 Tell me. When in this lifetime will you pay all that money off? I'm not saying it's not possible, but do you really want that burden? Do you really want to come as a kid, 22 years old, with a possibly sixty to eighty thousand dollar student loan? And that's not counting interest. That's just counting the loan itself. So once you pay, it's slowly building interest in those two years. So by the time you're out of school. You got to pay a hundred thousand, and you're like, man, I honestly wish I would I would listen to one motivates, and I would have went to a state college, took my time, not be in a rush, live with mom and dad for three or four years, be debt free, get out of school, and be like, you know what, I only owe five thousand dollars. Thank you, one motivates. I appreciate you. Trust me, man. I'm telling you, you will if you go to a private school, you will, and you go, and you're gonna be a statistic, bro. You're gonna be a statistic because you're gonna to go to this. You're gonna start working, or you're gonna go with those same students. They're gonna be like, "Man, how am I gonna pay this off?" Oh, you're gonna go become a travel tech. Okay, be a travel tech. You know what happens when you become when you when you come in the real world and you start working. You know what happens? Life, life happens, man. And the plan you have, like I said, it doesn't always work out the way you want it to work out, man. You know what I'm saying? So from my heart, and I'm telling you the truth, from my heart, 
I will tell you, man, if you really want to go for radiology or any kind of degree, it doesn't have to be radiology. If you want to go for nursing, physical therapy, radiology, if you want to be a teacher, doesn't matter. Go to your state college, take your time, enjoy being a kid and live with your parents and do your thing. I'm telling you, trust me when I tell you this. If you go to a private school, nothing against private schools. I have a lot of respect for education. So if you go to a private school and when you're done and you understand what I'm telling you, you're gonna be like, man, I wish I would listen to that, to, to him. But at the end of the day, we're all human. At the end of the day, we all are going to make our decisions. Um, but again, I'm gonna emphasize, if I were you, I will go to a state college, take my time, compete to get into that program. And if it was meant to, it was meant for you, bro, it was meant for you. If not, that means that God wants you somewhere else, okay? Yo, I hope that this helped you, man. I hope that this really helped you. I want you to make the best decision for you, not just for you right now, but for you in the future. I don't want you to be stressed out about bills, how to pay your school, how to do this. I don't want you to be a statistic, okay? I want you to have a good, stress-free life. Enjoy going to work. Enjoy your childhood. Enjoy life. You have a lot of life to live. Always keep God first. Hey, man, I hope this helped. You already know. Yeah, guys, have a blessed day, and I'll be back.